The next step is to create storage locations. So we have a plant in Chicago, and then there are storage locations underneath that plant. We have already seen examples of storage locations in some of the previous videos. We said that we could be storing coffee beans in one storage location, bakery goods in one storage location, raw materials in another storage location, or we could be storing all of them in a couple of suburbs, one in Naperville, one in Schaumburg, one in Lincoln Park. These are all examples of storage locations. Think of storage location like a warehouse. So we got to create warehouses for this plant. And how do you do that? You go to material management, all under enterprise structure. And then click on maintain storage locations. Let's do it in SAP. So you go back, close this, and go to material management, click on maintain storage location. And what's the plan for which we want to maintain the storage location? CHI1, right? Click OK. And who created these storage locations? I did not. Since they were copied from 3100, these storage locations are automatically assigned to CHI1. Now you can choose to let them remain or I could delete some of them, like delete these, select them and click on the delete button. And then you could create some new entries like raw for raw materials. like so and uh, if you want to store coffee beans separately you can say c-o-f-f -F for coffee beans and then for baked goods you could have a name called bake and give a description called baked goods right and each of them could also have an address like select that and then you could click on the address and you can actually maintain the physical address of the warehouse for now it doesn't matter so click save and say that this is create storage locations, raw coffee beans and bake. These are the three warehouses that we're creating for the plant CHI1 or Chicago plant. Click OK. So we have created the storage locations and automatically assigned them to the plant. The process of creating the storage location automatically assigns it to a particular plant. So you don't have to assign it explicitly. It's automatic. So we have maintained three different storage locations and they're automatically assigned implicitly to the Chicago plant.